G'day. Today we're doing a service or transmission service on a Nissan Pathfinder 3 litre 1995 model and it's got the RE4 R01 transmission, three speed with the overdrive. To ID the uh, transmission you can find it on that little ID plate on the side there. Now while we've got it here we're going to do a diff service. If it hasn't got magnetic plugs we'll add neodymium magnetic plugs on the drain plugs. Check your universal joints. What you do is you stick your finger in there and you twist this with your other hand and you'll feel if there's any any movement you can feel in your between your finger there and the universal joints or the movement in there means it's worn. This rear one's a little bit worn, front one looks all right, but good idea to actually grease them. They do have grease nipples. The centre diff or the transfer case, same thing, we're going to do a service on that. Check the unis on the front tail shaft. And the front diff as well. We're going to add neodymium magnetic plugs if they don't have magnets in it. Now you might see or notice that the exhaust runs right across the front of the pan on these. Now before we start we're going to just clean the pan rail, wire brush it, scratch it with the screwdriver, whatever you have to do to get it as clean as possible and then we'll take the pan off. We've removed the exhaust bolts over here as well, just so it can come down enough to remove the pan out of there. And we've also taken off this little rear transmission mount rubber, just there, because it actually sits above that uh, pan rail there as well. You can see how much muck's on that magnet there and what happens once that magnet is contaminated like that it doesn't have enough magnetic field to work anymore so then any material that's naturally created in the transmission with the operation of it is instead of going to the magnet it's going to go to your electromagnets which are your solenoids the solenoids control all the shifts pressures sensors all that sort of thing and that'll reduce the life of the transmission. In this one, that amount of muck uh, for the mileage would be fairly normal, but what isn't normal is all this gold stuff here. It looks like he's blown up a thru thrust washer or something like that. There's a lot of bronze metallic flecks right through the whole transmission. And over here, there's a couple of larger chunks here you can see right in the corner there. So it's on a limited lifespan, this transmission. A service isn't going to help it for very, very long anyway. Now to remove the filter, you've got your little 10mm bolts there, and that'll just come out. You will get a surge of oil here if you're doing this on the ground. Just be aware of that so you don't get some hair conditioner from the transmission. exhaust back on. I haven't tightened this up until we put the cross member on yet, just so it's all nice and even. When you're putting the cross member on, just leave these too loose because sometimes it'll pull forward or back and you won't line up these bolt holes there on the cross member. And then we can tighten up these two on the exhaust. While I'm doing that, we're going to just drain the oil out of the rear diff there, just on the lower plug there. 
when you're doing these exhausts up, make sure you tighten the manifold ones up. When you put the cross member on, then you can tighten these ones up here. If you don't, if you tighten this up first, it'll, it can create like a tension on the exhaust. And I've seen it where it cracks the flange on the exhaust manifold there. You don't want to have any, any tension on there. So that's why you tighten these up last and the exhaust will just sit where it should be. Just make sure when you're doing a job like this where there's lots of things that you need to remove, just double and triple check your work. Just make sure you've tightened everything up properly. Okay, we've done all that and also make sure you tight, re-tighten that uh, drain plug as well. So we're just draining the oil out of the diff. Right, now we're going to put some neodymium magnets drain plugs in the diff. And you can see there's the factory one there. That way and even pick up the breaker bar. And I've got our neodymium one, and you'll see that'll li lift up the breaker bar, yeah. oh, lift up the hammer, no worries. But much better magnetic field on that. Look at that. Lift, lifts up both the hammer and the breaker bar. And I'm going to put the the one that was on the bottom there, just on the filler there. Additional magnet, very handy. But just make sure if you're putting in a, a magnetic plug, especially if it's sticking out like that, that there's, it's not going to magnetise the, the crown wheel or, or any bearings or anything that's passing by that magnet. This one's got a fair bit of room so you can do that. Just make sure you put the proper oils in. On this particular one, it's got the limited slip 140 in the rear one, the limited slip or the LS 8090 in the front, and you can put uh, multi trans in the transfer case or the center diff. Put all the drain plug or the weaker magnets on the fillers. Double check, triple check your work, make sure you haven't forgotten to tighten anything up. Just got to put some transmission fluid in this one. And these you test with the motor running at operating temperature. Anyway, I hope that's helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Any comments, leave them in the section below. Throw me a beer. Keeps us motivated and uh, much appreciated. Thank you for watching.